Hello, it's Priscilla in Florida. I'm outside. There's a nice breeze. It wasn't sunny earlier and it was a nice temperature. Now it's kind of hot. Anyway, I'm not a spokesperson for um, OXO, Good Grips, omelet turning spatulas, but I got to tell you what, they're listed on my Amazon page and I'm going to show you why right now. Probably be even better if I had my glasses on so I could tell the difference between white canvas and white paint. But um, I have some paint left over in a new container from earlier and I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do with it yet. I've declared today no lesson day. So we're cutting school and having fun and playing. There's no rules, there's no plan, there's just being here in the moment, seeing what comes, putting on our glasses, because we're just not that stupid. Anyway, so glasses work well, and this OXO omelet turning spatula is awesome, and worth every penny of the around 10 bucks it costs to get one. I'm just playing now. I've got a nice layer of white paint. Last week it was just Walmart semi-gloss with uh, GAC 800 in it to keep the paint from cracking, but this week it's uh, got an additive of, uh, oh gosh, Artist Loft from Michaels of white paint. Just plain old straight up bulk acrylic and Floetrol. About half and half of those. Anyway, so, like I said, we have, come on, cover. Maybe I didn't have quite enough in a couple of places. I'm not going to worry about the edges right now because usually things come down over. And I have this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous pan of colors. Can't really beat that. 1001, 1002, 1003. But, Instead of pouring it directly on here, which I may do in a moment, don't, don't fault me if I do, because I'm thinking about it for sure, I want to add some more pink in there because that's what I really liked. And that is the top to a lettuce container that I mentioned in an earlier vid video, or depending on when I post them, a later video. But uh, keep an eye out for that, for that lettuce container, because that just, um, that just made my day. I'm going to use it at some future time for uh, scooping shovelfuls and scoops out of again. But right now, that's not the color I'm looking for. Oh, I have a new color. I have not used this color. It's a sort of a color, it's a minty green color shift. It's very similar to the turquoise color shift by Folk Art, both of them. And uh, I think it would be fabulous to use that. And I am strongly considering, right at the moment, just pouring this out. And whatever's left, scraping it out with my spatula. Speaking of my spatula, where are you, spatula? There you are, hiding in the bucket. Princeton spatulas. Find them. Buy them. I just bought a second, um, second batch of them. Just a few. So I would not uh, panic if I couldn't find the one I was looking for. So I think you can see over there. I'm not positive. But I got pretty colors. And today's the day for pretty colors. Every day's the day for pretty colors. Who am I kidding? Um, gold. No, I have gold. A little more gold. I don't have any white pearl in there, and I like the idea of white pearls, so we're going to stick some more of that in there. And I don't have any black in there. And what else don't I have in there? I like that dark blue. That's purple. Duh. I have had enough of a color I just used that was maybe not... Anyway, so what am I looking for? <laughs> you can't tell me! All right, I'm just gonna come back here. Oh, splooge. I think it's calling me to red. Don't ask me why. The red is a very nice magenta red, which means it's not on the orangey side. So when it spreads out, it's, it becomes pinky. Speaking of orange, <laughs> since we're here already, I think I'm going to use my very red orange that I put the golden iridescent pearl medium in. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. And the question is, am I done? Or I'm going to go back and do the yellow again. Yeah, we're going for yellow. I think it's just the same old, same old rainbow configuration. That's too dark, but it looks good. So let's do some more of it. I think there's plenty of green in there. 
I have some light blue, but what I want is this metallic blue. And if I start to pour this and it doesn't look good, you know, I change my mind all the time. And I have a dustpan. Where is my dustpan? My dustpan is right there. Dustpan. Dustpan, butter dish, shovel. Everything's covered with dust right now. I just saw a microburst go through the yard and uh, annihilate a bunch of stuff. I am looking at that right now and deciding that I want orange. And that's making me happy. Even though I wasn't really expecting it to, it does. There's also one more color I want. This, I ran out of last time, but I suspect some of it has probably come down. Yeah, I gotta make some more of that. That's just gorgeous. I love that pink. Pinky purple makes me really happy. Let's shovel. Ooh, that's adhering right to the bottom. Cool. And because I have a spatula, yes, I'm liking that color. Those colors. What am I going to do? Am I going to tip it first one way and the other? Yes, I am. I have edge catchers. For those of you familiar with edge catchers, they look like this after they've been used for a while. Ooh, that one has paint all over it. Must be from the last painting. Let's flip that over so we don't have to get any more paint on my hands. And one of the reasons I don't paint the sides of my canvas to begin with is so I don't have to deal with, whoa, that's really going down there. Oh no, come on. Back you go. I am loving that pattern, actually, so don't listen to me when I whine. That's pretty cool. We're having fun now. I'm going to do it again. But am I going to do it in the same direction? I don't know. I kind of like, let's imagine it's all going that way. So let's go back in here and shovel up. And what am I going to do? I'm going to go down here and smooch some stuff. I'm going to take advantage of the fact that there is paint in my shovel and use it to fill in. Tap, tap, tap with my spatula. Nobody will know if I don't tell them. That's pretty cool so far. I'm happy with that. Very happy with that. I am going to look for a smaller edge catcher. I think I had one before the wind blew through and took things away with it. Yeah, I think it's MIA. Okay, well, we'll use this other smaller edge catcher. Fortunately, I have a lot of these. <laughs> I'm pretty happy about that. I'm gonna have some, some runoff and some pushback. And I'm thinking that I can, oh, I'm moving my whole, I'm thinking that I can actually, wow, I got a lot of paint on the edge there. Okay, well, must be something supposed to go up there. <laughs> I am thinking that I can do all kinds of stuff with my spatula. And I can. I don't want to get too drippy. I just want to see what I can do. And I think my wet rag is handy for a reason, and I will use it. I always wanted to do this stuff. Sometimes I forget when I'm inspired to do something else. I forget to do all the cool things that I was thinking about as I was doing those other things. I don't know what this is. Take my word for that. But it's fun, and I'm playing, and this is play day for me. And I'm just continuing to wipe my spatula off, and I think I'm gonna like tip some of that. No, you know what I am gonna do? I'm gonna find my, yes I am, my medical tubing that does not look like medical tubing anymore because it's covered in paint.
and let some of those pretty colors swipe themselves right down over the bottom. Yes, and we can do that again if we want to. Just keep wiping off the tip of that spatula. And dr Whoops, hey, that was kind of cool. That was a happy accident. I am, I am having such a good time. <laughs> Just pushing through the paint and making marks. I want to go down there, I want to go up there, I want to go everywhere. Not making mud, we're just making marks. I think I'm gonna have to do it again though. I'm really glad I put the white paint on the canvas in advance. We've got eight minutes left. I'm gonna take a chance and go down. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm probably gonna bring, this is so cool. These marks are just awesome. Ah, I'm loving it. I'm going to, while I have a chance, I say that, and then I look at my colors and I decide that I want more pink. And more pink is what I'm going to get. And while I'm there, I'm going to add a little square of that turquoise that I don't see very much of, strangely enough. Now, if I put it over there, what's that? An anomalous blob. Okay, so I want to finish with that. That's a bubble, not a bug. Yay. I think I'm going to start at the top this time. And find my little spatula. Pretty colors. Let those drip right down over. may be considered a slight waste of paint to be wiping off my spatula, but that's how the best patterns are coming about, so we're going to keep doing it. That dripped down over very nicely. Seems to me I could just probably wipe, I could probably do something else with those. I just don't know exactly what yet. I love that. That is just like drawing with paint. Just waggle that right back and forth. It doesn't even matter if you dribble a few places because it's just adding to the texture. Although I might be tempted to just keep that rag right in my hand. So when I get to the point when I do care, God, there's some beautiful things happening there. I kind of want, to lay some other stuff right in there because I can. Because I can, I do, you too too, you do too. You can too, you can too. I'm thinking about book titles. This is paint I picked up. And I'm willing to flow right off the end of my spatula in a wavy pattern. And I'm going to keep doing it because it's working well. The scoop works the same way, kitchen scoop. Yeah, I made a mess. Boy, I'm having fun. I said it. I must have said that half a dozen times now. This is um, this is different. I can see this turning into even more and more interesting things as time goes on. I don't need to know how to pull string if I can do this. <laughs> string pulling is great. You've got the knack, that's fantastic. I haven't got the knack yet. I've been inspired to try and fail. I actually like that 
supernova starburst that I made on the day I failed to pull string. But uh, it's looking very much also here like I have enough paint for something else. I think. I know I interrupt myself all the time. I think I'm going to be using some of this. I just dip my knuckle in there. That's a first. That's in a year I've never dipped my knuckles into paint. It's that nice shallow pan. We're not making any mud. I want to see what happens with the torch. I would be really, really super tempted to play with the, uh, the Rain-X with this. I'm liking the crossover effect very much. I also, as much as I like that white space in there, I want something else in there right now. I don't know how much more I want in there. I like when the paint, the white paint from that's behind the canvas comes right down and creates a new effect. Wow, that is so cool. Yes, I'm impressed with myself again. Oh well. Try and be open to inspiration from the universe. Just waggle them right up there. I got some pretty cells now. I wonder what's going to happen in a minute. I know. Let's find out in a minute. When I stop being inspired to do what I continually seem to need to do. That is so cool. I recommend this. And it's just another form of shoveling. Hopefully you can see most of that. There will definitely be another painting in a minute, and hopefully sooner than later, because I don't want to lose the paint I've got in my pan. i got a little extra schmutz on my edge that I'm going to have to decide what to do with. Okay, I see we're down to a minute again, and I have no income, so if you want to shop on my Amazon link and find the things that I like to use for pouring and similar in production, they are there and it will cost you nothing to shop there. I also have a PayPal donation button on my YouTube header, and the link is also in my description of my videos, along with the paint recipe. And I will be spending some time, I can tell you now, after you're gone, fixing my edges. Because this is a nice piece, and I'm very pleased with it. Anyway, if you can help me, that's great. The fact that you subscribed, that's also pretty awesome. The fact that you love what I do makes me feel awesome, too. I'm so happy that you guys inspire me. You really do inspire me to some of my best work. And... can't help myself. Boy, I just love this. There might be a few more changes. Probably not that many, but some. Because <laughs> I can't stop. You got to try this. I swear I haven't had this much fun in a long time, and I have fun a lot. So, this is Priscilla saying thank you for joining me. See you in the next video. And Priscilla out. Bye for now.